Welcome to USC Libraries tutorial. This tutorial will cover why and how you can share USC Libraries licensed online materials with other USC affiliates. Can you share an item licensed by the USC Libraries with other people, like emailing a paper to everyone in a group for discussion, attaching articles to your syllabus, or copying a book chapter into your Blackboard site? There are many laws, rules, and regulations governing the publishing, purchasing, and licensing of scholarly materials, leading to a lot of uncertainty about the appropriate practices. The USC Libraries Course Reserve System allows faculty to share materials easily within a class, but this doesn't cover every need. A student might want to share a book with another student. A faculty member might want to share an article immediately. You are able to confer with library staff about the rules relating to each item you want to share, but you could also sidestep concerns by remembering one rule. The USC Libraries licensing agreements allow each USC affiliate to access one copy of each item. If you send permanent links or permalinks to library resources, the recipients of the permalink can log in with their own USC Net ID and password and access their own copy of the item. This will allow you and the recipient to comply with applicable rules and regulations. Here's how you can find and use permalinks. Open a library's website. Locate the search box at the top of the page and use the pull-down menu to change the search to catalog and articles. Search for the item of interest. I'm going to use the title of an article. Click search. Once you find your item, click the item to open the full record. Look for the permalink button. Click on it to show the permalink. Copy this permalink and paste it anywhere. You can put it in a syllabus, an email, or a Blackboard site. Every item in the USC Library's catalog and article search will include this permalink button. You can make permalinks to books, chapters within books, journals, and all other content included in the catalog and articles search. When someone receives the link from you, they will click it and be taken back to the same catalog page. Then they can locate the View Online section, click on the link to log in, and access the material. The vast majority of the library's licensed materials are included in the catalog and article search, but some individual items may not be. If you are searching for a specific item and cannot locate it, contact the library to determine if there's another way to create a link to this item.